How you doing everybody? My name is Kinesis and welcome back to Canarium. I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna look at this stuff. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, also fancy. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, now if I remember correct now if I remember correctly, I was supposed to be finding something last time. And I still don't know what the hell that is. Is there an another flashlight? Preparation for a long trip. Yeah, preparation for a long trip. That is correct, sir. Ugh. Creepy deepy. What's with all these flashlights? Lovely music. Looks like something's missing here. Yeah, but what? Not. Okay, so I need to find a circle thing to put in there. That's what I need. Let me see. Something circular, perhaps. Maybe in one of these trophy cases. Yeah, so, um, long story short, I don't know what's going on, so I will just, uh, I'll catch up with you guys once I figure it out. I feel like I glitched it out. What the fuck is this? I found a crowbar. Oh, look, I can put it in. I feel special. Okay, let's try it this time. Fuck you. Aw, oh, I gotta do stuff? Uh... Why does the door keep shutting on me? I don't like that. Okay, let me see. Combination of three. Um... I don't know what any of this means. Perhaps it's, uh... The sun, this thing, fuck. The sun, this thing, and the moon? Oh shit! Ha! Ha! I was thinking about the, um the uh the what the different masks were and what they uh, represented that's a phonograph cylinder no thank you in archaic myths lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes i've been able to trace some parts my cat speaking on my about lap. a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than i could ever imagine ancient cornariums i will call them Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. Well, that's all I get? Okay, fine. I'm going down here. I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. And then it, like, totally does. Ooh, that's really far. Very cinematic. And then something's gonna be right in my face. Oh my god, how far down does this go? Damn. Jesus, this is far. Oh, we 
just went into the Harry Potter dungeons. Hello. It's stuck. Is it now? Uh. Yeah. I need a phonograph cylinder. Yeah. Oh, printer. Cool. Right, let's take a look at this. I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Is that what now we did here? I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Then why'd you do it? Whoa. Cool. Shape resembles an... an elder thing. Eon old silence of the tomb. It was a blob, a monstrosity of enormous size. Cannot see completely without without the device. It's so fascinating. Okay. What do I need from down here though? Do I need anything else? Is there anything else I can do? Anything else I can click on? Oh. I remember this place. No, I already did this. I already did that. Yeah, I already did that. Okay. Can I sit? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Alright, now what do I need to get out of here? Locked. Oh, another one. What's this one say? When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Oh, that thing can be Only manipulated. Lately, it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned, that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps, but still shiver with fear with every noise our rundown enclave is causing, isolated from ancient darkness of the night. That's creepy, dude. That's really creepy. Looks like something's missing here. Oh, of course something's missing there. Uh, something has to happen. All right, what are you missing? Um, Looks like a lever, maybe? What's this? I found a letter. 
Dear friend, judging from the tone of your last correspond fuck you, from your last correspondence, I see that you were shocked to see how how far I've been able to progress. You asked me how I did it, and here I tell you every detail. I believe you were remember mentioning to a young gentleman named Frank Gilman from Mr. Connecticut University. When I saw his thesis on the pineal glands developed on structural evolution and decadence over the course of thousands of years, I knew I was one step closer to freeing myself from the chains of our corporeal limits. Carly, that boy was able to understand underlying notions and spot the details I was unsure of. I contacted him and promptly told him about my research, so he, so he may not treat me as others did. As a matter of science, I'm sure he would get anxious, and so he did. Huh. Okay. Got it. So I need something for that. I think I have to go all the way back downstairs for that. One sec. Ooh, a key. Yo! I am down with that shit. Fuck yeah. Ooh. A quarter. Whoa, trippy. Hey, another thing. Cool. Let's listen. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. That doesn't sound very Finally, good. We shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know oh, how this sounds. Purring so you. loud, can you hear this it? I'm gonna try and amplify it. Even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time, forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. <sighs> yep, yeah, failed to read between the lines, man. That's what happens. Gotta read that fine print. You done fucked up. Alright, I'm gonna go back upstairs, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please go kick tomorrow's butt, because if you don't, it's gonna kick yours. I cannot wait to see you on the next adventure. And as always, <gasps> Oh.